My friends Justin and Rachel and I have been following the blog AI Weirdness since its early Tumblr days for its wacky neural network content. What is a neural network, you may ask? Let me explain. In the words of Justin, who wrote this explanation for me because I don't have an awesome understanding of this stuff. <laughs> neural networks are computer systems that can be trained in a specific domain by being fed a ton of examples of that domain. Once a neural network learns that domain, it can be used to identify new examples of things in that group. Like, that's how Google Street Views blurs people's faces and licenses plates without having to actually have a real person go in and blur everything by hand. AIWeirdness.com is a blog by Janelle Shane where she trains neural networks on all different types of lists of stuff like Halloween costumes or craft beer names and has the networks generate new examples in that domain. In one of her recent posts, Janelle fed 2,000 pie names into a neural network. The results were not always pronounceable, conceivable, or edible, but some of them sound pretty good. When we read this list, our first thought was, we gotta make some of these pies. So we come through the list and came up with two. One that sounded doable, fairly edible, possibly even good, and one that sounded edible, but challenging. <laughs> pie number one, eggnog peach pie number two. Pie number two, impossible maple spinach apple pie. We made a grocery list, went to ShopRite, and got to work. We started with eggnog peach pie number two. This is the pie we thought would be possibly palatable, like a peaches and cream sort of thing. This led to the idea of making an eggnog custard or pudding for the filling. We got a vanilla pudding mix and instead of making it with milk, we made it with eggnog and we added cinnamon and nutmeg to enhance the flavor. Like weird undercooked scrambled eggs from my, from my point of view. As we were tasting it, we realized it tasted basically just like oatmeal without the oats. This sounded pretty good to us since oatmeal is an actual food. We chilled the pudding we added some canned peaches and let it chill overnight. <laughs> we tasted it the next day. Since we were making a cold pie, we cooked the crust already and pie was not gonna go back in the oven. So we decided to improvise a topping. Justin made this amazing streusel topping to finish the pie off and add a little crunch. We came away with a cold and goopy, but reasonably tasty pie. Well, it was tasty to Rachel and Justin. I, I'm not a fan of eggnog. So it was not a failure, but I personally couldn't stomach much more than a forkful. Oh, pie God. Hi God, you've done it. <laughs> Thoughts? Tastes like oatmeal. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How do the peaches go with the eggnog? Fine. It's like a peaches and cream kind of thing. It crumble goes well with the eggnog. Crumble goes well with everything. This was eggnog construction, taking all of our parking spaces and ruining my video. Now for the tricky one, impossible maple spinach apple pie. We figured the way to pull all these elements together was through a sort of cream cheese, eggy base that we could mix the maple syrup into. I don't know why I didn't veto either of these pies before we started because I hate eggnog and I hate maple flavored things. I'm disgusted by the smell <laughs> of maple, especially when it's like really artificial maple and mixing it with cream cheese made it no better. We chopped up the spinach and stirred it in and we sliced the apples and we threw them on top. We treated it kind of like a cheesecake and okay. we stuck it in the oven for about 45 Is minutes. Is that the pie? And we waited for it to brown or something we didn't really know what we were waiting for. Eventually we pulled it out. It had to be done at some point. These pies ended up both being repulsive to me because of my aforementioned hate of eggnog and maple. They both tasted like straight up vomit to me. But Justin and Rachel didn't mind them. They stayed in their house and I ran far away back to Virginia. <laughs> the cheese part's actually really good. Is it really? Is it like a cheesecake? I this... go that far. <laughs> oh, okay. Justin says he was regularly eating them until he got a stomach bug. Rachel and Justin both got this illness and it is unclear if the pies had any involvement. <laughs> if I had to say which one I liked better though, I would actually have to say it was the eggnog one. I don't know what it is. I must have some terrible memory of maple that I've entirely repressed. It was just it was so gross to me. Justin says he actually liked the spinach one better somehow. We couldn't manage to get anybody else to come over and taste him. Everybody was busy. <laughs> Good God. Some of my other favorites on this list that I wish we could have done, but they just seemed too daunting <laughs> for one reason or another. I really wanted to try fried pumpkin pie because that sounded very easy. The, but the ones that sounded too wild were rice crispy chiffon pie, Mississippi mish, free pie, and cranberry yas. Ah, oh, man. If you're interested in seeing more stuff like this created by Janelle Shane, please go visit her blog. It's aiweirdness.com. It's hilarious. We laugh at this stuff like nothing else. I promise it won't disappoint. <laughs>